Last on the fucking docket here, when it comes to no jumper universe um, stuff, is this post featuring fucking Yuri. Um, I'm confused. I want to say this aloud, and I think maybe you guys will disagree. Is this an American thing? Is there something with American content creators where they kind of see having a job and creating content online as somewhat of a failure they see it as like beneath them or is this like an la thing or is this just like a content creators thing in general because i feel like a lot of these content creators that come from la or that come from that side of the podcast side of things they have this thing in their head where like they can't ever take a bit of a step back to take a step forward so if the channel's not going too well you can't just get a little part-time job to kind of supplement your income while you're still doing the content you have to kind of just be fully you know content creator doing your own thing running your own schedule blah 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 i'm, I'm against the man having a job is for losers like what is this kind of what is this kind of mindset and the reason why i say this is because this clip here which features yuri essentially saying um that you know he kind of misses the check from no jumper a little bit because i was a kind of guaranteed income and i guess i didn't know this but i think yuri's channels are not monetized or them I, I don't think they are anyway but he's not making much he's only making money on like donations which obviously you know you can't rely on donations all the time because it's a fucking what's that thing called you're like you're relying on the generosity of your fans and you know your fans aren't gonna have endless amounts of money to donate to you all the time so he's kind of feeling a bit you know down about that but he's also refusing to like it doesn't even enter his mind to just go get a regular job. And I want to find out from you guys in the chat, what is this mindset? Like, what is a what is a shame in having a regular job and also doing content creation? I don't understand it. It's so bizarre. Anyway, let's play the video. A month to fucking request, request uh, to reapply to the monetization or fucking AdSense program. And then once I request, I have to wait like a week or two for, the, for them to accept it. Um, it really is a giant pain in the ass, bro. Last time, you know, last time this happened to the Harmonious Man channel, uh, I obviously it was a huge fucking uh, thing, but I, I still had the no jumper news, you know, shit going on. So at least that was like helping me, you know. Now I don't do that anymore. So now with this happening, it is actually kind of like someone this kid has Heelys. I haven't seen Heelys in forever. Now this is getting a little bit worrisome, a little bit for me. Not, you know, it's like I'm just trying to figure out what we. So it's getting worrisome, but there's no idea of like getting another job. And a lot of this is quite funny because a lot of these guys were blaming Adam for everything and kind of dunking on Adam when they left. Because I think initially a lot of these guys got a lot of buzz and a lot of, you know, pop from basically leaving Adam behind and kind of being successful on their own dime. But, you know, being anti no jumper and anti no Adam 22 is only going to last for a while. That kind of controversy. You also got to be interesting enough as a person and create enough good content to have people kind of fuck with you regardless of that. You're fucking dunking and ripping on Adam, which he doesn't do too much to be fair but there was a period in town where yuri was basically flexing about the money he was making because he was streaming every day and shit and going on that marathon and now all of a sudden that stuff has dried out and obviously doesn't have a base to rely on in terms of monetization and he's now kind of you know acting as if it's the end of the world so i want to find out what are you guys saying in the chat here um take pride in your work no matter what it is exactly coiler um um what we're saying here a lot of z saying a lot of content creators <laughs> yeah exactly jared Melrick, i love this united griffs of america exactly there is that thing as well okay Asad as well says here i think it might have to be an la thing the you fell off bs for making extra money is toxic yeah exactly you that's a good point um Asad. i think there is something to that phrase with that they all hate like you fell off you're not relevant anymore it's like bruh content creation is is hard to do I'm telling you from my point of view, when I do fucking the basic shit, it's not easy. Sometimes you just get burnt out. You don't, you're bored of, I get bored of hearing my voice all the time. You know, you have to kind of keep reinventing yourself, talking about interesting things. I don't know, whatever. It's hard to market. It's all that shit. It's difficult to do. So maybe having a, I think maybe sometimes having a regular job can sort of helps to inspire you because you're outside with regular people, having regular conversations that can maybe inform the content that you do. Or that can maybe make you use your time more wisely because your time is more limited. I don't know. It's not that big of a deal. I don't understand this. Another person said, yeah, Z, a lot of content creators' dream is to leave the nine to five. I blame what toxic work culture. Honestly, some people belong in asylum. Not for sure. Toxic work culture is definitely pushing people to the place where seeking a content creation job is 
a career sorry is looked at as like the dream because you it allows you opportunity to escape being told what to do being told when and when you can asking permission to go on holiday to go to the toilet all this sort of shit can be super you know um could be could do shit to your mental right could just make you feel horrible i understand it but i feel like sometimes people aren't honest I think some people belong in jobs. Not everybody can be a boss. That's why sometimes as much as I agree and love Dame Dash, that whole rhetoric of like being a boss and having a job is for losers and you're a slave, I think that's ridiculous. There's nothing wrong with being an employee. There's nothing wrong with being number five at Google, number 1,000 at fucking Twitter. There's nothing wrong with having a nice job working for a fucking supermarket or for a shop somewhere where you get a nice salary, you work with some decent people, there's some good career, you know, prospects for you in line there's nothing wrong with that it's kind of rewarding there's no problem no shame in having a regular job and then deciding at the evenings to come online and just talk about shit that you like magic the gathering baseball football and just rant online that's quite fun i actually think it takes a lot of reason why i feel like i have a lot of fun on this show is because not my whole fucking career is dependent on this shit i just get on here to chat shit hang out with you guys and then i kind of go back to my regular life i think that's actually a good balance to have and some people unfortunately just are better at having jobs than they are doing this sort of stuff it's not a problem but for some reason these guys have got this warped idea that they're somehow better than a job like the they like the content they create is better than have no they, they believe they're better than having a job in that regard not even the content they create they believe they're they're too good to have one which is insane personal opinion in my personal opinion a lot of people who went streaming full time during covid are legit not yeah exactly but that's the thing that I think is is idiotic. Um, what do you say here? Who's the person? Um, Falkify. You got a good point here. I a lot of people, myself included. My, I think my channel blew up immensely because of COVID. And I think if I remember correctly, when I was like you know all disheveled and had my beard, and I was always wearing the fucking blue flannel. I um, mean, I was just alone, alone at home, depressed and shit, because I was I got fired from my job just before COVID, and then COVID happened, and I was unemployed for like six months. I spent most of that six months just recording videos. I think that's when I just started talking about Brendan and the fight and the Kinwell sort of stuff, and it kind of helped my channel grow, right? Cool, because no one gave a shit about the channel when I was just doing my fucking Taz podcast, right? But when I started talking about Brendan and stuff, it kind of blew up. So I know that bump that affected all of us during covid but i also think covid was amazing for me career-wise because it also opened the ability or the opportunity for me to work from home which i do now i never had the option to work from home because number one the position i was always working in were kind of middle you know mid-level positions which never give you the autonomy to kind of you know have your own schedule and work from home and work from remotely they never allowed that you have to always be in the office but covid allowed company no kind of forced companies to kind of adopt remote working because that's the only way they could keep a hold of their workforce so now i have the ability to essentially sometimes work two or three jobs at the same time while still working from home from my laptop so i think a lot of people maybe should have used that to their advantage and still did content on the side i don't think that's a bad thing but again i could be i could be i could be wrong i'm quite saying 100 the ego thing agree which all americans have too much of yet for sure um I, just, I don't know i just think the ego thing is weird as well because i think none of us do anything that's that amazing to warrant that level of an ego person i don't think any of us do some of us have better cameras some have us better you know set up some of us has better microphones but i think fundamentally all of us are just on here chatting shit about people who in general are way more successful than us in in our own way some of us are some of us are talking about people that are way more successful than us right or we're talking about things that we don't really know about we're just talking shit online essentially so i feel like that that fucking hubris is odd because you haven't achieved anything really you haven't really done anything like why do you think you are that worthy of like having a life where you don't have to kind of clock in and clock out like the rest of the society i don't understand where that where that entitlement comes from it's fucking insane to me but anyway what, what do i know um to so try as a sponsor as his videos are yeah to he's smashing it big up him um what people are saying here found you during covid yet yeah, big up uche exactly yeah, covid was a covid covid for me was a special time it was, it was kind of again bittersweet i got fired before covid like I, I got fired before covid so my company went under before even covid happened so i couldn't even say it was a covid issue just the company was run like shit and it went under 
And then COVID happened <laughs> and then all the jobs went away. And then suddenly I was like on my, you know, sitting on my ass. And then I just, you know, I thought, fuck it. I just start ranting online. I started ranting and then suddenly everyone started following me and shit. So it kind of helped, but it was a fucking horrible time. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm not going to go back to that shit. Um, what else is saying here? At AZ, Crash said, getting a job means somehow you failed at being a full-time streamer. Okay, cool. I understand it in that respect, but I just feel like, there's too many it, it goes back and forth right there's a season when you're up season when you're down i think you just have to accept it i don't think it's that big of a deal i don't think it's a failure getting a job i, I think sometimes it can help with the content i honestly do with that with, with all your chips not being in that basket it can make you a bit more loose to do other things you know personally but what do i know it was what um it was when brendan cried about chrysalia he opened the 